Hello inmates and welcome back to another episode of Seek NR. Today we discuss the new Robin number one from DC Comics, written by Joshua Williamson, with art by Gleb Melnikoff. But before we get into the story, let's get a little context on where Damian Wayne is mentally at this point. If you read The City of Bane by Tom King and Joker War by James Tinney IV, then you are aware that tragically Alfred Pennyworth, loyal butler, mentor, father, and dear friend to the Bat family, was killed by Bane, right in front of young Damien. Since then, resentment has built inside of Damien towards his father. How could Bruce not kill Bane in retaliation for Alfred's death? In the same way Batman didn't kill Joker after Jason Todd's death, Bruce just returns to his routine of fighting crime. Damien doesn't agree with Bruce's path, he sets off to kill Bane himself, who is imprisoned at Arkham Asylum. But in Infinite Frontier number 0, it seems Joker has gotten to Bane first, killing him and robbing Damien his chance at revenge. So now Damien has set out on his own, but before we dive into Robin number 1, there are some other books I'd recommend that you pick up first. Batman 106 by James Tinney IV has part 1 of a backup story focusing on Robin, from the moment he leaves Gotham to his reunion with his mother, Talia al Ghul. This short is by Joshua Williamson and Gleb Melnikov, the same creative team on Robin number one, and it continues in the pages of Detective Comics issue 1034 by Mariko Tamaki. This issue contains the second and final part of this short story, and reveals that Damien only went to his mother to learn of a special tournament that is held every 100 years. Well, not exactly, but it's very similar. The tournament is on an island run by an extremist faction called the League of Lazarus, an offshoot of the League of Shadows and the League of Assassins. And when the League of Lazarus learns that Damien is hunting them, looking for a way into the tournament, they prepare with a skilled young fighter of their own, the son of Green Arrow himself, Connor Hawk, now written back into continuity. The other book you should pick up before reading Robin number one is Action Comics issue 1030. Even though it's only three pages of the entire book, Damien completionists like myself should pick it up to see Damien have one final conversation with his best friend and former Super Sons teammate, Jonathan Kent, the Superboy, but soon to be the new Superman. With both characters at a pivotal crossroads in their young lives, these three pages act as a great moment between these two friends before both their lives change in big ways. And now... In the pages of Robin number one, Damien continues his search for the mysterious tournament as Batman and the Bat Family search for Damien. The art by Melnikoff is amazing, and Williamson has a real grasp on Damien as a character. Maybe it's because Joshua has written Damien before many years ago in the pages of Batman Superman number 77, featuring a team up between Damien Wayne and Supergirl. All right, back to Robin number one, where Damien finds King Snake, who happens to be Bane's father, and beats your ass in a cage match. Upon his defeat, Robin takes the entry coin from Snake, granting Damien access to the elusive tournament. Once in, Damien runs across some familiar faces, and some new ones, as Mother Soul makes her appearance to go over the rules of the tournament. Brash as always, Damien arrogantly steps up to be the first fight, and faces an unexpected outcome. No spoilers here, but I highly recommend you go pick this issue up if you're a Robin fan, a Damien fan, or even a Batman fan. It's a lot of fun, and I'd say my only negative critique would be the fact that this tournament is already rigged to not feature the DC Universe's actual best fighters, like Lady Shiva or Richard Dragon. It would have been cool to see Damien interact with those characters. Still, it's a solid book that earns an 8 out of 10 for me. Pick it up at your local comic shop or in digital today. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, share this video with a friend and subscribe so you don't miss any future DC content from me. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.